guys, how are we doing? It's Martin Cliff here from my studio here in sunny Hong Kong. And I guess the first thing to say is Kung Kei Fat Choi. It's Saturday the 1st of February, it is the second day of the Chinese New Year. And the cool thing about Chinese New Year is that rather than just having one day, we have three, and then we have a day off to recover from it. Um, so, it's all very cool. Um, now a few things to talk about, I haven't really got any music news because I haven't really done very much. I've been doing lots of work behind the scenes on my new album um, in terms of rhythm tracks, particularly sort of beats and you know loops and all that kind of stuff. Um, just to try and give it kind of a bit of a... It's hard to describe, you'll, you'll be here when you hear it. I mean the, the piece I just played, or the snippet of, is one of, it's kind of one of the sort of main tracks on the album. Um, obviously develops from that, but just trying to play it on one guitar isn't overly easy. Um, so, but yeah, that, that's that's one of the pieces um, that will be coming up on the album. And may well be the lead off single when I get to that stage, but that's several months down the line yet. Um, so what's new? Well, obviously, it being Chinese New Year, um, it's a time when um, Hong Kong goes kind of crazy. So we, um, yeah, we, we don't have any uh, media family in Hong Kong, but yesterday we were able to spend uh, the day, part of the day with uh, Eva's cousins. Um, there were 20 of us at, at one point, um, and together, cousins and uncles and aunts and stuff. So that, that was really nice. Um, Get a really sort of sense of uh, family there, even though part of the conversation was in Cantonese, so I got the first clue what it was on about. Uh, it's all good. Um, and it's mad busy. All the shops, well, not all the shops shut for several days, but a lot of the shops shut. Uh, all the factories closed down. It's, it's a really interesting time. It means it's really easy to get to places. Uh, tonight is the big firework display, and by big firework display in Chinese terms, I mean, it should be fairly impressive. Uh, we're going to a bar in, in uh, some Taoist way uh, to watch that uh, from like the 20th floor or something crazy. So, really looking forward to, to that. And obviously, being in a bar um, won't be quite as noisy and smoky, and it um, should be fun. Uh, going there with, with a few colleagues, so yeah, looking forward to that. And then, of course, Monday is the Super Bowl, and um, well, Sunday is the Super Bowl for most of you who live in the Western Hemisphere, but it's Monday morning uh, for us here, which is a public holiday. So, um, me and uh, uh, two, two or three friends are going to get together and watch it and yeah, have a proper Super Bowl party with um, yeah, chips and dip and beer, and then a proper fry up breakfast at half time. Because to be honest, I'm not really too worried about watching Bruno Mars perform. Um, so there we go. That that's what's coming up. Um, now, for anyone sort of not in the kind of in the know in the music world, um, last week was the NAMM show, uh, which is the kind of main trade fair in, in North America for the music industry. Uh, I did it with RJ Music Technology a few years ago. Um, helped them out at their booth. Um, this year I was hoping to go, um, it didn't pan out um, and yeah, getting to California but, um, is not easy particularly as it's changed in the year week when everything's more expensive uh, in terms of flights and stuff like that but um, I've been kind of trying my best to keep up to date with all the news and all the videos and everything like that and a few things have struck me. One is um, that you know, it's really good to see various companies putting lots of videos out there uh, but it seems that Sometimes it's, it's the little guy who, who does the, um, I mean, you know, Harmony Central produce a lot of videos, um, some of which are rubbish. It's always really interesting um, when, A, you give the, you get someone to give a presentation at your booth who doesn't know anything about microphone technique. You know, please, you know, manufacturers, get people working on your booth who know how to handle a microphone because these video demos are far more important than what you actually do at the, um, at the booth on the day, except for obviously the business to business transactions. But in terms of attracting customers, it's these video demos that are far more important um, for, for individuals at least on YouTube. Uh, so, absolutely, you know, give, get someone who can who can hold a microphone at the same distance from their mouth and speak into it and speak clearly. Um, always fascinates me the, the way that people use terms like interesting a lot. Yeah, this is a new product, this is an interesting product. It means they're not sure whether it's a great new product or it's something completely wacky out there and it's never going to take off. 
Which I guess is kind of the point of a trade fair, really, in that you can kind of put things out there, you know, concepts out there. Um, but interesting was definitely an overused um, term in, in the videos I've seen from this year. But also, as I say, in terms of the little guy things, I mean, a lot of the best videos have come from Andersons in the UK, which, uh, okay, is, is you know, not a big conglomerate like um, Harmony Central or whatever, um, but there's, there's a few of them, and it's a big shop. Um, but then, they, even they've been put to shame by what I think is one guy. Uh, the, the, the channel is, is Schnobles, um, and I have no idea who, who Schnobles is. I, I, say, I think it's one guy, I think he's from Europe somewhere, I, I don't know. Because um, I've only actually watched his known videos, but they, they've they been really good. He's covered far more more stuff than, you know, certainly of interesting guitar players, than any of the big, big companies, uh, Musician's Friend or any of those people have done. Um, he's also the only guy who's shot a decent video, and by decent I don't mean just a quick minute and a half um, you know, pan around at 360p, come on, you know, 720p videos all the way uh, on YouTube these days. Um, he's the only one who's actually shot only from Ignator. Now Ignator, as you know, I am a huge exponent of Ignator amplification. Um, I, I love it. Um, I have no connection to them other than that I've, I've met Bruce and Ian um, and yeah, I've chatted to them but other than that I have no, no connection to them, nothing financial, I just love their products. Um, I've used their tweakers a lot, uh, I have two tweaker heads, two tweaker cabs, um, I will shortly hopefully be buying a Rebel. Um, and if you've been sort of aware of what's going on in terms of uh, the way things have, have been going for them, a company that have, over the last few years, last couple of years, kind of fallen slightly on hard times in that they've had a lot of problem with the customer service department. Um, as I understand it, they've pretty much replaced their whole staff, or that, that's what I gather from picking up you know, threads from different forums. Um, so, as a result of that, they've kind of alienated a lot of their um, dealer base. Um, in terms of the, the stores that actually sell their products, which is a real shame because they produce some amazing products, but obviously just that kind of business sense, that kind of customer sense is something that that hasn't um, been there for them in the last couple of years. And I really hope that they manage to pull things back together because, as I say, they produce some amazing amplifiers um, you know, for, for great price points as well. So all I can say is, yeah, you know, I mean, Bruce is an amazing guy, um, and I really hope that they pull that together. Uh, because I want to keep on using their amplification, but I don't feel that I can support a company that is you know, like a sinking ship in the, in the sense that you know, I don't want to promote, say, you, know, you should go and buy an Ignator Tweaker uh, when you know that you, if you buy it, it's got a 30% chance of breaking down. Now, this isn't what, what happens at the moment, but I'd say this is, this is my concern that it may be, you know, there's. Um, yeah, if, if things are going as badly as it seems the customer service thing is going, then it may be something that happens in the future. As I hopefully it isn't. Um, so yeah, that, that's kind of, like I said, I don't want to be you know, promoting a company that um, can't put up the goods, uh, if you see what I mean. So that's that's kind of um, the one thing I've picked up more than anything from, from now. There have been a few products that I'm very interested in. Um, MXR had a new bass preamp pedal that um, that I really like the look of, and hopefully it will be able to replace. I have a core, uh, heart key, um, it's a VXL bass attack pedal that is a great chunky thing, um, but it's got a DI output and it works really well as a bass preamp for recording and everything like that. But it's huge, so you now this is a standard MXR size pedal that hopefully will basically replace that and will fit on a pedal board and all these things. So, um, yeah, fingers crossed when that comes out and I try it, I like it. Um, I haven't seen a huge amount else. I am looking sort of keenly at the um, new Korg Triton tactile controller keyboards, basically because I don't have a keyboard here at the moment. Um, so just looking for something that I can, you know, play some basic keyboard parts for, for recording and all that kind of thing. And they look to be at a good price point, and having the Triton sounds built in is, is a good thing. So um, yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're the two biggest things other than. And the Sabian cymbal vote symbols. Um, yeah, I, I don't play a lot of drums now. But obviously, I don't have a kit here in Hong Kong because in an apartment it's not really practical. Um, 
but it's, it's good to know that out of the four, and the symbol vote is, is a great thing where you get to vote you know, once per day for four symbols um, over a period of, I think it was about eight weeks. Um, and I think I probably did vote certainly um, seven out of those eight weeks every day um, for the symbols that I thought were the, were the best, or at least the ones that I would like to see more often. And you know, three out of the four that won uh, were the ones I voted for, so I'm, I'm pretty chuffed at that. Um, and uh, yeah, but they they were exciting products as well. So looking forward to actually seeing them in person. Yeah, have a garden. Uh, Sabian symbols are only available in Parsons Music here in Hong Kong, which is a bit of a track away if you want to go to a decent one. Um, but yeah, there we go. Yeah, so say looking forward to trying them out. Maybe when I go back to England in the summer. Um, so I've waffled on quite a lot. Um, Obviously, you know, it's glorious hot, sunny weather. I've actually got the air conditioning on cool for the first time since about October, so um, yeah, uh, loving the weather here uh, right now. Um, I don't, don't think I've got any other news other than I'm going to be trying and shoot some videos um, next week, um, pedal demos and some jamming stuff. Nothing fair, nothing major, just a, f a few little bits just to keep the channel going. I've got now 200 and Nine or 210 subscribers somewhere around there. So you know, hey, and welcome to some new guys. Thank you for for checking me out. Um, love seeing comments on all the older videos I've done. Um, except you know when you get a question saying you know like, what was your setting on the amp on this video and it's like I haven't had that amp for three years. Um, I have no idea. Yeah, it's just just one of those things. Um, but it's always always fun and always good to hear back from people. Um, yeah, please do like and subscribe. Um, so I'm going to be shooting some videos over the next couple of weeks, get them up uh, again, and carrying on working on music. Um, I'll be taking a break in a couple of weeks for a week to um, because we've got uh, the play on here at, at Harrow that I'm doing the, the lighting for, you know, a lot of the tech work for. Um, yeah, hopefully, I'll do an update in a couple of weeks with some news. Um, I'm kind of waiting to hear about a job at the moment, which will obviously then help me to buy more gear. So um, that should be that should be cool. Um, but other than that, um, and then come Easter, uh, we're off to Vietnam for a week for a holiday. So that'll be awesome. Um, other than that, I think I think that's covered pretty much everything. So um, until next time, take care. And I'll see you soon. <laughs>